Welcome to Chop Ahead TV. I'm your host, Big Truth, from Chop Ahead Custom Cycles and the Big Truth Podcast. In this episode, we start out in California where we bring you two home builders, Tom and Kenny, and then we go over to Born Free and show you some of the Born Free show. After that, we bounce over to Cleveland to show you the fuel show put on by our boys over there at Lowbrow Customs. So watch it. My name is Tom Woolfield, living in Wildemar, California. This bike, uh, I'll just call this an 01 twin cam. Started out as a, uh, bought it new in late 2000, 01 soft tail standard. Maybe about four years ago. Took it out, running fine. Took it out of the frame, got me a Paco frame for it. And uh, basically transplanted the motor, the primary transmission, everything over to this bike. Paco did a good job with that, fit perfect. The way that they put that together, we divorced the transmission, took off the primary, and moved it right into this frame. Obviously I mocked it up, tore it back down, but we moved it right into this frame and everything hooked back up. I used all the stock forward controls, brakes, oil lines, actually the same brake setup too. And then uh, switch it over to chain drive. Uh, we put a, uh, or I did anyway, put a, a VCP narrow front end on it, 41 millimeter. <laughs> no front brake. And then uh, basically uh, everything fit right into this bike, worked out pretty good. I had a little help with these bars, were built by Ari. And then uh, Nick from Industry Customs built these pipes for me. And then I had uh, T-Rod, he did this uh, Sissy Barn seat pan. Um, seat I got built from Halfley Brothers. Other than that, I put everything together. <laughs> um, but yeah, i uh, surprised I don't see more of these. After I put this thing together, I'll take it across country, do anything on it. Just got to stop more for gas. Um, but uh, runs great, super fast. Uh, let me think here. The motor, I think maybe 2003. I had this thing uh, bored out to 95. And uh, it's been running good ever since. And again, just fit right into this Paco frame perfectly. And uh, it's running really well. As far as the ignition system, I've got in here is a Thunderheart ignition. Um, it's a five wire simple system for a twin cam. Uh, basically we got the crank position sensor, two wires to the coil, power and ground. That's how the whole thing works. Um, very simple. I think there was a tachometer uh, wire in there too I just got rid of, but very simple. Hooked that up, ran the wires for the lights. Uh, it's a great system. The paint was done by uh, Pac-Man Paint in these out in LA. Yeah, did a good job with that. You're looking for like a tealish turquoise, kind of dark bluish color, fade, you know. You know, the, building bikes for me has always been a waiting game when I'm waiting for other people to do stuff. I try to do as much as I can now. So this one we built a little bit more. I've built this couple since then, but um, it took about, I would say a year and a half to build, but a lot of that time is waiting for paint, waiting for someone to build your pipes, like those kind of things. They take time, but other than that, I think the actual build time for me is probably about four months if I cut out the waiting time. The biggest challenge thing I had with this, and if you're ever building your own bike, put a little bit of gas in it and fire it up, then you go take it for a ride. I ran out of gas, but I didn't realize that, so I called my friend Larry, bring me a bunch of tools, adjusting the car for two hours, until I realized I was out of gas. <laughs> They'll always put gas in it.
Um, Kenny Kaboom Webb. Uh, I live in Wildemar, California. This is my 1969 XLH Ironhead. I bought this bike from a friend and it was uh, in a, a hardtail frame that was welded on. Um, had a king queen seat. I was, it was just a rat bike, um, but I, I ended up blowing up the motor and I figured I'd rebuild the whole thing. So it took me a, a little over a year to build this bike. You know, um, I, I didn't weld then, I didn't do really much anything, so I had a lot of help outside, but I'm, you know, I'm the mechanic guy and I, I put this thing together. Um, I did have uh, a few, few people help me um, build this motor. It's got 20 over and it's got a bigger cam in it. It's a wider cam, it stays open a little longer. It's a 425Y. Um, so it's just a little hoppier. So when, when, I, when I put it in the bigger cam, I, I was kind of under, under the, uh, I was understood that there wouldn't be any head work having to be done with it, but I ended up just keep uh, blowing up lifters left and right. So I had my friend Motorman Vince uh, review the heads, but uh, I learned a lot through them and uh, I could tear this motor down and put it back together almost in my, <laughs> my sleep. I bought this Paco frame, um, re tore the case apart, rebuilt the whole motor, uh, wanted the forward controls but with the disc brake. Um, so we designed the motor mount to incorporate the, uh, the, the master cylinder. Oil bag is from Gasbox, they helped me out a lot with it. I'm running a Makuni carb, an old like 38 millimeter. The show front end, I had shaved down. Um, cheap bone from noise, shaved those down for me. That's a 1.6, 21 in the front. Dave on. Um, these bars right here, RV, uh, made for me. I begged him and he, uh, he makes the super tall bars. So I told him to make them micro. And this is what he built for me. It was a little bit BMX, that's what I'm kind of into. Um, of course, there's a, you know some fill all stuff. Throttle's always good. Tail light, um, the feet, and uh, the risers. And they make some good products you can use. Um, that old uh, old man Bob helped me with uh, the sissy bar and Mike Olson. Um, before I started learning the weld, and uh, it's obviously kick and, and electric start. The paint was the paint was done by uh, my friend Nathan Moreno. He's a local guy. Um, I thought he did a pretty good job. Gave him some ideas and he went with it. And How I, many times did you repaint it? Did you go this, this is twice. Two paint jobs. They used to say a little evil because it's a it's a, a bitch to get in the frame. <laughs> You'll be editing that, right? Yeah. Will we start over? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sorry. <laughs>